hey guys it's your inner chakras welcome back to the channel guys if you are new you are welcome guys anything about me is down in the description box let's see what spirit has what messages right for you right here right now what's going on guys today's tuesday uh oh, it's weird the days are just weird what's going on definitely an ending it's a wrap <laughs> there's a wrap for something someone you could be ending something whoa an ending and then an immediate new beginning if this isn't you it's your person somebody's ending something for a new beginning right it's like both of them in your face like bam bam right this is over i'm in it this is over i'm in it right yeah somebody's ending something for a new beginning and they don't have any regrets they don't have no regrets they are feeling a little disappointed though they feeling a little let down they feel a little let down or it could have been some betrayal right not a wands in reverse this person could have been somebody that's in and out of your life right Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person in and out of your life could be a younger man, right? Masculine energy. Yeah, but somebody's ending something with the person that's in and out of your life, right? You probably manifested this with the magician. You have everything you need, right? It just didn't work. Three of Cups is in reverse. You either ended something or maybe you found out that they was with someone else. They probably was with this Five of Cups here. They didn't regret what they was doing. So I guess you're not going to regret moving on, right? Somebody definitely healed from it, right? They healed uh, from this ending. Now this person here, whoever they walked away from, they don't want what this person is offering them. They feel that they chose wrong. They feel that they was just dealing with too many people, right? They're coming out of a temporary hardship as well, right? This person went through judgment, going through judgment. Could be being judged by other people, could have been court, went through court. But see, they're not in hangman anymore. This person, they're not in hangman about this ending. Holy Spirit, clarify this ending, right? Clarify the ending, Spirit. How did that happen, right? How did that happen? The Nine of Pentacles ended it. Hierophant in reverse. So the Nine of Pentacles ended it. This is someone who's pretty much set in their life. They have financial success, uh, material security. Like they have what they need, right? So they ended it. Holy Spirit, clarify this new beginning. What is this Ace of Wands? Two of Cups. You may have a new love offer, potential partnership coming in, right? And then the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, after an ending. Somebody could have gotten a divorce with the Hierophant in reverse and then the Four of Wands in reverse as well. So it looks like a feminine energy moved on from somebody that was in and out of their life. Holy Spirit, anything else a collective needs to see? Yeah, you're definitely moving on, guys, with the with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like um, slowly moving on, but the outcome will be positive eventually. This could be a young man coming in, by the way, younger man. But something didn't work. They're moving on from something that just didn't work, right? And now they have this Ace of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You have a chance to do it all over again, to try again with something. You're not up in your head about it, right? You're not dealing with other people anymore. And you're not afraid to move on. You're not afraid to move on. Yep, it's King of Cups. The King of Cups is looking at their map. They're trying to figure out where they're going to next. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want it all. And they want it all with this Queen of Swords here. 
They do have some fear though, guys, right? They have a sense of anxiety when it comes to this person. Maybe a little, feeling a little opp oppressed as well. But that's what they want. Here they come, guys. Eight of Cups. They're walking away from something that they feel there was just nothing else they could have done there. They could have lost money there. Um... They're just emotionally unfulfilled. So now they're getting this clarity here. They got clarity. They're using their intellect, right? This is like... This is their triumph over adversity. They, they're using their inner strength, right? There it is. And there's the strength card. They're using their inner strength to do what they got to do. And they're moving on, guys. Ooh, baby. Holy Spirit, for the collective. They doing what they got to do and they're moving on. Yeah, hidden secrets. Everyone know but you. So there are some things that went down. You probably didn't know that this person was married. Because it seemed like they was married for sure, right? So there are some secrets there. It was a, a a bad a bag of bad apples, right? They could have been dealing with somebody who was just rotten, spoiled. Yeah. They could have married a younger woman. And it just didn't work. So now they're trying to go to this grown woman, right? I'm a grown woman. Uh, I can do whatever I want. So this person, they're going to come and confess to you. They just want to clear the air to let you know where they stand, where they've been, and where they want to go with you. Where they want to go with you. Where they want to go with you. I want to go to the moon. Right? Go to the moon. Let's see if they have any truth. Holy Spirit, for the collective. Ooh. They said, I'm about to get married to someone I don't love. That's for some of you. And I act as if I'm happy with my decisions and I'm not. So they're not happy with what they've done, how they did it, right? For some of you, they were probably about to marry it and didn't. I'm guarded from past issues. I played too many emotional games and I don't even know how to fix it. So that's where your person is. Baby, I'm going to tell you how to fix it. You said it here. The confession. Clearing the air. Call this woman up. Call that man up. And say, hey, wanna go to the park? Go to the movies? No, not the movies. Can't talk to the movies. Go to the park? Wanna go get something to drink? Wanna go talk? That's when you confess. That's when you clear the air. Especially if you're trying to go back to somebody. You can't go back to a person with the same energy that you had before. You gotta go back with honesty and truth. You gotta go back and say, hey, I did such and such and such. I was married. I probably never told you. Yada, yada. I'm divorced. Yada, yada. Clear the air. It won't work any other way. Because if she finds out otherwise, and she will, you can't hide a marriage or a divorce, right? It's clear as day. It's public information, right? Anybody can look it up. Uh, you may have to pay a little bit, but it's public information. It's there, right? So clear the air because she's going to find out anyway, right? It, I mean, just, just clear the air and then maybe you got a chance in hell. But if you don't clear the air and you come in lying, it's going to be a wrap. Like, real easy. Love is not that hard. It's, it's really honesty. Honesty, truth, facts. Period. That's love. And then, of course, you got to add emotions. You can't be... And here's another thing, too, guys. Know who you loving on, right? Know who you loving on. If you're loving on this emotional, loving woman who, who needs compliment she needs this i want to go on dates i want to do this i want to do that i want to do this i want to do that and she keeps saying the same shit that's that woman and if you don't have it in you to love her that way be emotional that way talk take her out go places back up that's not your woman that's somebody else's woman that wants to enjoy her, love her, talk to her, encourage her, take her out on dates, let her shine, twirl her, and be emotional. Know who you're loving. If you know she requires too much and you don't have that much to give, back up. It's not your woman. And women, flip it. If he's not loving and caring and giving to you and you begging and pleading and crying and you don't wrote the book on how to love you all the way from one to a hundred and they do nothing with it, then you back up because you're going to be crying for that love. You're going to be crying for that attention. You're going to be crying for the emotions. You're going to be crying to be taken out. You're going to be crying. I want to get dressed up. You're going to be crying. Guys, don't settle. 
Don't settle. When I tell you I've been there, done that, I got a couple t-shirts. I do. Don't beg for shit. And once you tell them once how to love you and they don't get it, back up. Silence. Hush. Shh. Pull back. They either do or they don't. Thanks for watching, guys. I must be on one today. I don't know what the hell happened. But I woke up one way and I kind of like it. I kind of I, I kind of like who I is today. I kind of like who I is. <laughs> I am. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And if you're about that like, hit that bell button. And if you're really about that like, then subscribe to my, I can never, what is it? the memberships come on over to the cookout baby <laughs> we're gonna be cooking up some things over there all the effing time peace <laughs>